for today's exercise, we are going to be filling out a color wheel using just three colors, which are the primary colors. We're going to start by coloring with the primary colors. Notice how all the areas are labeled. I'm using the blue and there's a B and a number one underneath the blue. When you're coloring, don't press hard because we're going to be layering colors. If you press hard, our colors won't be able to blend and we're going to be making the 12 colors in the color wheel using just three colors. Our next primary color is the yellow. We're still not pressing hard, we're pressing lightly. And our third primary color is the red. Once our primary colors are filled out, then we are going to go to the number twos. Number two is red plus yellow. So here is where we start blending. We are going to softly place the red and on top we're going to place the yellow and that is going to give us the color orange. Now we're going to get our secondary, our second secondary color which we're going to be layering the yellow plus blue. Notice that everything is labeled. It says Y plus B, yellow plus blue. And there's only one Y and only one B. This is important to keep in mind because in our tertiary colors, which is the combination of three colors, we're going to be using the same color two times. So right now we are using red plus blue. This is our blue and this is our red. And the combination of red and blue gives us purple. After you have done your secondary colors, we can move on to the tertiary colors. Tertiary comes from three. Move on to the colors labeled three. Notice that the diagram says R plus B plus R. So we're going to be using one red, one layer of blue, and another red. This is going to give us and another of blue. This is going to give us the blue purple. Now this is going to have two reds and one blue. This is going to give us a reddish purple. For our next tertiary color, we are going to be adding red plus red plus yellow. So there are two layers of red and one layer of yellow. This is going to give us orange red. Now we're going to add one red and two yellow. This is going to give us yellow red. Our next tertiary color is going to have two yellows and one blue. So notice there was one layer of yellow, now comes one layer of blue, and another yellow on top. That's going to give us our yellow green. And then our final tertiary color is going to have two blues and one yellow. That's going to give us a blue green. That completes our 12 colors. So for the next section of the worksheet, you are going to be creating your secondary colors. So fill out your primaries. If it's red, red. And then you're going to start mixing. You're going to mix one layer of red, one layer of yellow. And that gives us the secondary color, orange. Write down the name of the secondary color on the space below. So we have the red, we add the blue, and when we mix both red and blue, what color do we get? Remember, we are adding our color softly. We are not pressing hard. That gives us purple. Red plus blue is purple. Our final secondary colors is yellow plus blue. So one layer of yellow and one layer of blue mixed together gives us green. Write down the color green. For the next part of the worksheet, we are going to be doing some color schemes. 
color, color schemes are colors that work well together. Our first color scheme is primary colors. So we are going to use only the primary colors. In our second color scheme, we're gonna use only secondary colors. Remember, we're still just using our three colors to create our secondary colors, so we need to start mixing. We're gonna mix our primaries to create our secondaries, and our secondary colors are purple, green, and orange. Now, if you look at the color wheel, half of the color wheel has warm colors, which are, they have, just think of the sun, the, the heat. So we're gonna use reds, oranges, and yellows. For our cool colors, it's the other half of the color wheel. Think of ice and cold. We're gonna have blue, purple, and green. Our next color scheme are complementary colors. The comp if you look at the color wheel, the complementary colors are directly opposite each other. So there's lots of different combinations that you can make. For the first combination, I chose yellow and purple because they are directly in front of each other. For our second combination, I chose red and green. Remember, there's multiple combinations. It's colors that are in front of each other. And for our final complementary color, I chose orange and blue. You can choose whatever colors you want as long as they are opposite each other in the color wheel. Blue and orange, red and green. There are 12 different combinations, yellow and purple. So try to use colors that I did not use. Analogous colors refers to colors that are right next to each other in the color wheel. Any two colors that are touching each other. So the first one is yellow and orange. The second one is blue and green. Again, there's multiple combinations that you can pick Pick something different, if you can, than what I made. And our third analogous color combination is red and purple. They are right next to each other in the color wheel. So learning about color theory and color wheel is gonna make our artworks go to a different level.